was going to be a hard fourth game. Um, you know, I think we had a little more rest than they had. We're coming off an iron, but we, we went through that last week. So, uh, you know, it's a challenge. But this, you know, I mean, it was a it was a good win for us. Uh, you know, Billy Foote did an outstanding job. Um, you know, when we needed it, um, you know, made big plays. Uh, I thought Perez and Manhurst the second half took over, and that was huge. We needed them to do that. Um, I thought our bench, uh, Dominic Rainey, I thought he did a, a terrific job, even though the score, it doesn't show on the scoreboard, but coming off the bench, coming off the bench was huge. And Phil Valenti and Josiah, they did a great job. Even Bleeka, you know, the time that he came in. And that's, that's the tough part about it is you need, and I tell these guys, we need everybody to be ready. But this was definitely a team victory. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, we're undefeated at home. Uh, you know, we're continuing to try to max out as much as we can to continue to get, you know, our fans in, in the building. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited. I'm excited for our players right now, you know. So, uh, but, you know, you got to take it one game at a time, you know, because we need to continue to build chemistry. And that's why those guys off the bench was huge for us. So this wasn't just, this was a team effort. Any questions? Jimmy, if I did, you have to win when, when Billy gets it going. Do you find you have to, you know, keep on the other guys to stay involved because it's, it can be easy for them to put stuff back and kind of watch him. Yeah, no, there's no question about it. But uh, but he makes guys better, too, because he's so very unselfish. You know, he makes the extra pass. Uh, he rebounds the basketball. Um, and he attacks the bucket, you know, to get to the free throw line. And that's what's real important. We have to continue to, you know, get to the free throw line so we can put people in foul trouble. But, uh, no, I mean, he was, I mean, he was, you know, he was, he was terrific. I mean, to that, he was terrific. I mean, he stepped up and made some plays and made some shots. And, you know, and, and, and he got beat up pretty good, you know, a lot of times. And, you know, what happens is that sometimes you play against them, you play the way he plays and drives and attacks. Sometimes they just let it go. I mean, well, it's, it's still a, a physical game, you know, but. Uh, but I think, you know, him and the seniors, you know, really, really stepped up big time, you know, to really bring this one home. Was that talked about at halftime? Like, like you had already alluded to, you know, Perez and Manners having a big second half. Well, I told him it was 0-0 at halftime. Okay, we were up 14. I said it's 0-0 at halftime, and we really got to rebound. You know, we really got to defend, and we got to step in and take charges, you know, because they, they were going to really drive the ball. I thought that guys did a real good job with that. Defense gets five second call, shot clock violation. Yeah. To the he had to, even though it don't, didn't work out perfectly, he had a trap on the first possession. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Please talk about your defense. That was unbelievable. We made adjustments a couple of times and we caught them off guard. And they had to call a timeout on that one. I thought it was a turnover. But I don't know. I mean, I'm seeing what you guys see. And then the other time, the five second count. I wish we got calls like that. You know, timeouts, timeouts. We're on the road. We we did that last week, and we didn't get. We got nothing. You know, but that uh, no, was a great team win, and uh, you know we got to get ready for the road now. It's going to be a challenge. And Quinnipiac is it's probably one of the most the, the, the hottest team in the league as far as uh, coming into it. And, uh, they're good, very good, very good guards, very good inside players, and uh, it'll be a tough challenge for us. You know, Billy mentioned on a career high, is it almost like, you know, you can't even put in the word, you know, you've seen him do this before. And I mean, that's what he does. I mean, that's what he does. He's aggressive. He uh, attacks the basket. He knows how to use the ball screens. I mean, I play him this way, that way. And he's uh, really understanding that. And, uh, you know, I've been talking to him about, you know, that you're going to have to turn the ball screen down. You're going to have to slip. And you're just going to have to use it. He really has stepped up and uh, done that. And, you know, that makes us better because now he just plays basketball. And I tell that to guys. You know, Chris Perez one time, he got the ball at the foul line and he just drove it. He, that was a basketball play. And, you know, sometimes you got to make basketball plays. And these guys know that they have the freedom to attack the bucket and make basketball plays. And that's what Billy was doing. Thank you. Thank you.
Did you get a point to get to get the other guys going in the second half rather than you know kind of go for the big right. the 25? You know, my half. Yeah. Not the 30 points is a lot, but yeah. um, what he's aiming to do. Well, he's a point guard. So, you know, he's, he's, and he's still very unselfish with getting guys the ball and, and making plays and getting guys and getting us into our offense. But, uh, you know, I mean, he did, you know, he did have a hell of a game. He was, was uh, you know, but he's gone. People are going to really, you know, you know, how many people are going to say, boy, I was at that game and they weren't. I can tell you what <laughs> This game and the Rider game, we're going to go, oh, I was at that game. I said, well, where were you at? I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't know everybody that was in the gym today. <laughs> but you know how that goes. You know how that goes. Play, you know, guys see him. But I, I, just, I, I, just, I just wish people, more people could get a chance to see him. I mean, because I think he's a very unique guard, and, you know, um, and he's a, he's a special, he's a special player. You know, and he, like I said, he's got scars, he's got stitches all over his body, and he just keeps coming out, never complaining, and never, you know, just keeps moving forward. And that's why I love him to death. And, you know, when he got his thousand point, you know, it's a special thing in two years to do that. And it's a, that's, a, that's a tremendous accomplishment. Plus, we won 20 games, you know, we're at 14 now, we're undefeated at home. And how many games did we win at home last year? You know, it's just been, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been unbelievable to be quite frank with you. You know, we just got to keep pushing it forward. Okay, one more, coach. You brought up how tough Clint Kiak is going to be. You probably have seen the score there about to knock off Manhattan for the second time. Do you think you guys are ready for the challenges they're going to bring? We're, we're, we're trying to get them ready. I mean, that's that's going to be a challenge. I mean, it's it's you know that's what we're you know that's what we got to we got to keep. You know, being ready for those types of things. I talked to him in the, in the, in the locker room right afterward. I said, we got to go on the road and we got to grab these. You know, we got to be ready. We got to be ready physically, emotionally. And we got to understand what's at stake for us. But they're a good team. They're very athletic. They can score a ball. They can attack the rim. But we need everybody to be ready to go. And that's going to be a challenge.